Hi guys, can you see me? So today is the 17th, March 17th. I know because mama's birthday was yesterday. I am in the process of cleaning up, doing blog work, doing social media work and stuff like that. And I am feeling a type of way, kind of like in my feelings, but towards myself for allowing for allowing certain things because I my life coach always teaches me that we teach I teach people how to treat me and that is so very true and you know I am so tired of getting inauthentic interactions when everything I give is authentic but because I have taught people to to not make me a priority they don't make me a priority. They just give me inauthentic, placebo, whatever. I scratched myself. Placebo, whatever. And because I've taken it for so long, they feel like that's okay. That's good enough. It's good enough. But now I'm getting to my breaking point, like ready to explode. And it's not towards anybody but myself because this is a situation that I created. I created this situation. I made everybody a priority. I put everybody and everything before me. And now I'm living in a space where, I, or an atmosphere where I don't matter. I, I'm just... You know, like if I can't do something for someone, I'll feel bad. Even though I know I'm sick, I may be in pain or whatever the case may be. If I can't do it, then I feel bad. Well, what I've noticed is people have started to capitalize on that feeling. So they will try to make me feel bad about what I already feel bad about. No, nah, we're not going for it. I'm not going for it. I am adopting the attitude. I'm going to do what I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it, if I want to do it. And I'm not going to feel bad about none of it. Absolutely none of it. Because people are out here living their life, doing what they want to do, making their decisions. And when they're making these decisions, they don't think about me. But when the consequences of those decisions come around, then I'm the number one person. And me being me, I'm Johnny on the spot, jumping in the fire, rescuing people out of fires that they started. And that's what people expect of me. But then when I get burnt out or when I'm ready to collapse like I am now, you hear crickets. Listen, listen right now. Let me, let's see what you hear. You hear my smoke alarm. And you might hear YouTube in the background. Other than that, you don't hear shit. You don't hear nothing. Because I have created this strong, independent black woman. And I am all of that. Trust me. But that does not mean that I don't need support. That I don't need to lean. That I don't need a shoulder. That I don't need an ear. That I don't need somebody to say, hey, Tamika, are you okay? And to really mean it. And to not just be saying it like... To just shut me the fuck up or let me ask her how she's doing or whatever. Yesterday was my mom's birthday. Mom is dead. To everybody else, it was just another day. It was just another day. It meant nothing. But if the shoe was on the other foot, I'm going to check in. Hey, how you feeling today? But I don't get that. You know, I'm just... I have taken a lot of shit and I am literally choking on the shit that I have taken and that 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 stops that that has to change I no that's nice passion where's she at where's she digging she think I'm she vibing off my anxiety I guess so she's digging mama so, yeah, I'm not, 
I'm not, I'm not, no. My twin, Eden Jacks, always says at the end of her videos, be, be kind, you know, be compassionate, but don't take shit from anybody. And I've taken a lot of shit. So much shit that I am now choking on the shit. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. I watch people help other people through situations. And those same people will see me in a situation. I just stand on the sideline. How does that work? How does how does the how does that how how I ain't even get into it. So what I'm gonna do is I have done the laundry, folded the laundry. I got one low in the dryer. It is raining. I have rheumatoid arthritis, so every joint in my body is stiff and hurting and swelling and throbbing. I'm about to take me a shower, meditate, put on my body butter. I can't show y'all the name of it yet because it's still being tested. Um, put on my body butter, put on something comfortable, and watch YouTube videos until I can bring my vibration back up. Because my vibe isn't low. My vibe is, is, is agitated and angry. And I need to write today. And I can't write from that space. I need to write from a creative, open, positive space. So, yeah. Shower. I think I'm going to do a face mask. That always makes me feel better. So, I'm about to hit the shower. And just meditate and wash all these feelings away. I know what the problem is. And I know how to fix it. So I just have to fix it. But I just had to like vent because woosa. Alright, let's go to the shower. This is the mask I'm going to do. I love this mask. Face mask on. Heading to the shower. Alright guys, I'm out of the shower, face mask washed off, face feels lovely, smells lovely, I'm trying not to touch it. Tomorrow my skin will be glowing. The gloss on, I'm watching um, Lily Sweets on YouTube. I don't know if I'm going to write anymore today, that shower was life, it's what I needed to just bring me back to my center and to bring my energy back to where it needs to be for my creative process so the fan is on because after i take a bath i mean a shower i always get hot i don't know what that is i don't know if that's a, i don't know what it is but fan is on i'm gonna have a protein drink but it's getting cold in the refrigerator because i can't drink the warm and i'm gonna have to take some medicine so I take that and I take some Benadryl because the pain is real right about now. And I'm going to relax. I have a little while on my own by myself. So I'm going to enjoy this little me time and do absolutely nothing. Not nothing. Her bedtime. Their bedtime. She's sleepy. Y'all can't see her. It's nap nap time. You got six minutes. You got six minutes. She goes to bed at nine. Get on your bike. Get on your bike. Go get your bike. Where are you going, Chloe? To Maya. Get on your bike, Coco. <laughs> uh oh. Dust it off. You okay? Get on your bike. Go, Chloe, go. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What you say? 
Okay, ride your bike. You gonna ride off into the street, Chloe? This is not how I planned to end my weekend vlog, but I think it's relevant, so I'm gonna share it. I'm in my bathroom. Lately, that's the only place I am, in my bathroom. I have developed so many food allergies or food intolerances that is ridiculous like it has taken over my life i don't know is that a pimple i don't know what the hell is happening i was supposed to have a stomach procedure what do you call it endoscope but i'm having surgery you know i'm having back-to-back -back surgeries for endometriosis and that's just a lot of anesthesia and I had to prioritize the, the anesthesia. So once my surgery is over for this tumor and all this other stuff, then I will deal with the stomach stuff. I'm on this new eating plan and it doesn't seem to be working. However, I have missed my medicine for a week. I'm on another medicine. I will tell you all about it in a separate video. It's called Low map and I'm replaying in my mind right now everything I've eaten today and I've had nothing that's on the list of my allergies or intolerances and I'm in the bathroom I share because it could be another woman out there like me who weird things just keep popping up, keep popping up, and you feel alone and you feel weird and you feel like you can't tell anybody because people are going to be like, oh, she's always sick, which is something I've heard all my life. Oh, she's always sick or blah, blah, blah. You can only control what you can control about your body. The body is going to do what the body is going to do. Sometimes it's going through a healing. Sometimes it's going through a cleansing. Sometimes it's sending you messages. Sometimes you're getting mentally well and your body is trying to follow suit. And so your body will do all these weird things, which is my case now. When you're healing traumas and your body is trying to follow that healing and all this kind of weird stuff pops up. So... That is my case. I'm going to do a video on low bot map because it's a lot of stuff you can't have. I mean, I can't have garlic. I can't have onions. I can't have, I mean, nothing, really nothing. And it's just crazy. It's just really, really crazy because I did well today. I'm running through my head thinking of what I've eaten today. And I don't see anything on the no list. I had some pop. And I think that's a no. But no, because it doesn't have any caffeine in it. But it might have like um, a sugar in it. One of those weird sugar. Fructose. That's what it is. It's probably fructose. I'm going to check the bottle. And read the ingredients. I have to read ingredients on everything now. Everything. Like going out to dinner. Can't do it. We can't go out to dinner anymore. Nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. So yeah. I'm ending this weekend vlog in my bathroom. I'm so tired. Chloe has just gone home. I have taken my medicine. I'm going to get me some water. And try to flush this fructose out of me because I think that's probably what's in that soda that I had and like I can't even have cereal I love cereal the only cereal I can have is cornflakes or Cheerios I'm stuck with bland cornflakes so yeah so I'm gonna get out of here I will see you all in another vlog I am starting another vlogging series it will be up soon but this was just a spontaneous um <laughs> you should see Falcon staring at me like 
mommy what are you doing this was just a spontaneous vlog i decided to vlog my weekend so i will see you all in another video thanks for watching bye